So I guess you know pi, 3.14159265 and so on. Uh, it's something that we learn in school, but we never use ever again. But you know, even if you don't use pi, that after the comma, 3.1415 and so on, it goes on forever, it's infinite. And that's an interesting idea because you can find any combination of numbers that you want inside pi. I can find your phone number inside the pi, I can find your birthday, I can find your credit card number, which is a bit dangerous. And also I can translate pi into, uh, for example, letters. So if one is A and two is B and three is C and so on, you have an infinite sequence of random letters and inside this sequence you have some somewhere you have a word and maybe somewhere you have a sentence and maybe some somewhere you have a full book and if every single sequence of letter is inside pi somewhere in pi you have your own biography so if you were able to know pi inside out which is impossible because it's infinite you would know what would happen to you tomorrow for example and uh, in the same way, if you translate every number of pi into a pixel, like a shade of grey for example, uh, one being very light and nine being very dark, you can have an infinite sequence of images, like uh, static that you have on TV when there is no programs anymore, and you, like a QR code basically. And you have all the images in the world inside pi, so that includes the first image that you saw when you were born, but you know that already because you saw that. But there is also the last image that you will see when you die. So if you were able to see that, you would know when and how you die. But you have to know pi inside out, but it's impossible. And also some people have been interested in uh, memorizing pi uh, as much as possible. So for example, in 2006, Akira Aguchi, is a Japanese guy, was able to recite 100,000 decimal places of pi. So that's crazy, I'm not that good, I only know 10,000 decimal of pi, that's much easier. So in this book you have all the first 10,000 decimals of pi, and I'm going to ask you not to go maybe to the last chapter, the last quarter of the book, because I'm still working on it. So stay in the first part of the book. So I'm going to give you this, and because I have a photographic memory, if you go to any page you want, and you give me the page number, I should be able to remember what are the first digits on that page. So give me any page you want. Okay, 118. So 118, so that's 118, right? 118. So 118, uh, it starts with a 1, and then it goes 2, and then 7, 8, 4. So that's correct? Okay. But that's very easy because it's like me asking you to recite the alphabet. You would start from the beginning, like I did with the beginning of the page, so A, B, C, D, and so on. But if I tell you N, O, P, Q, R, N, O, P, Q, R, you recognize it's a segment of the alphabet, and once you know where you are, you can keep going S, T, U, V, W, and so on. So what I'll try is exactly the same with the sequence of 10,000 digits I have in my head. I'm going to ask you to go to any page and go to any line on that page and give me five consecutive numbers anywhere on that page. And this will give me a position in pi and I'll try to recite from that spot. So I'll let you choose your page and your line. And when you're ready, you can give me five numbers next to each other. Three, five, oh, Wait. one, Okay, uh, is this followed by a seven? Yes. Um, I'm not sure on the next one. Uh, could be a nine or could be a three. Three. Three, okay. So then it's followed by a two. Yes. And then I'm gonna say nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit faster. Okay. But if I make a mistake, don't be nice. Just say stop and I'll try to correct myself. Okay, because I might be wrong at some point. So I said nine, right? Yes. So after nine is a three and a one and a one and an eight and a five and a zero and a, uh, sorry, it's a two. And then it's a 0 and a 2 and a 6 and a 3 and a 3 and a 4 and a 9 and a 3 and a 1 and a 1 and a 8 and a 6 and a 5 and a 0 and a 2 and a 7 and a 7 and a 1 and a 4 and a 6 and a, what is it like a 1 yeah. and then a 5 and a 3 and a 2 and a 7 and an 8 and then a 0 and a 0 and a 2 and a 4 and a 2 and a 8 no it's a 9 sorry and then it's a 4 and so on and so on so as you can see you can recite pi and you can find, like we said at the beginning, many things in Pi. So I can find your birthday, for example. Uh, I'm born on uh, 16 of October. So that's 16 October, that's 1610. And I know this sequence is in Pi somewhere, but it's not in the book because uh, 1610 is beyond uh, 63,000 decimals of Pi. So I'm not lucky. But if you're lucky, your birthday is going to be in the book. And I'll try to remember if it is. If it is in the book, I'll try to tell you the page, the line, and the position on the line where you can find your birthday. But if you're not in the book, I'm sorry, because that, that can happen. So what day are you born? 14. 14, and what month? July. 
So 1407. So 1407, is this in the book? Uh, it's in the book. It's going to be on page 172. And it's going to be on line 4. At the beginning of line 4 of page 172, 1407. Is this correct? Right. Perfect. That's what I have. Thank you. Thank you.